Welcome to the Fremontian! With polls and fun facts! Welcome to Fremontian. I hope you guys are all doing well. Really, guys? Not even Reyes? No. You might remember me from the club department. We all had good laughs. Ruben, what are you doing? Um, I'm working on our next script. Jokes for me? I am dying in here. Um, no, I'm actually working on my show. Um, you're on okay. your own. Think or swim. <laughs> okay, let me. I wrote a song about a tortilla. Well, it is more of a rap. I'm like, I'm looking at that. <laughs> I still got it. Let's start the show. We just finished Halloween. It was fun for me. I hope it was fun for you. So as we come down to our sugar rush, our polls and fun facts team is going to review the costumes, great hits, and unzips. Great misses, you'll see what I mean. I don't know if they cringe, they were cringy, very funny. Let's find out together, roll the tape. I am the one who knocks. Now, say my name. Heisenberg. You got it. Right. Today, we're going to be talking to people to see who's going to be dressing up for Halloween, and we're going to ask them what they're going to be. Let's check it out. Yo. Hey, I'm supposed to get out. Around. What? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm stuck. I'm ready. Hey, I'm ready. Hey, I'm ready. <laughs> Brian, Brian, what just happened right now, Brian? What just happened? Uh, the zipper, like, it, it took off, so I can't take all the costume no more. Ah, uh, dang. Okay, I, I live this life forever. My name is Brian Sardia. I'm a 12th grader. All right, so are you going to dress up for Halloween? Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to be for Halloween? Um, I'll be a Ninja Turtle, Donatello. All right, thank you for your time. Uh, my name is Jose. Right, so did you dress up for Halloween? Uh, yeah, I did. What did you dress up as? <laughs> um, I dressed up as a T-Rex. Hi, my name is Juan Lopez. I'm a senior. No, I didn't. My name is Wendy. Did you dress up for Halloween? No. Hi, my name is Marisol. Did you dress up for Halloween? Yes, I did. What did you dress up as? I dressed up as Jack Skellington. It was Walter Hartwell White with Holy Ghost on the And this was my confession. Please, please just hear me out. Cut the camera. Oh man, imagine being stuck in a costume all year. I hope he got that zipper issue fixed. Maybe it's good that I didn't get dressed up this year, but I will next year. On the Halloween theme, our variety team takes a look at some urban legends. Do they scare you? 
there are some urban legends that are common throughout the region Central America, but some of, some come from Mexico. From an example, La Llorona and Los du Duegos. And by the way, these are not magical delicious. They're not magically delicious. <laughs> Variety takes it away. Hi, my name is Patricia and as you already know, I'm part of the Variety Team. This week's segment, we'll be talking about the Llorona and Los Duendes and the origin of it. Keep on watching. La Llorona is dated back to 1550 Mexico City. Her maiden name was Risa and the, she is the damned ghost of a poor woman from Ciudad Juarez who stabbed her children and disposed of them in Rio Grande in order to win the affection of a wealthy man. Many Mexican folks avoid going out late at night, especially if they live by a body of water, due to the fact that they hear a whooping woman cry out for her children. The weeping sound like this. Los Dones are small little creatures, often compared to small elves or goblins. They are known for stealing children who aren't baptized and stealing shiny objects. They are originally from Latin America, Spain, and Europe. They live in between the walls of homes, especially in small children rooms. Many people believe they are evil while others believe they are good. These creatures are said to help you find lost items and return of candy or money. Another thing these creatures are known to do are braiding the hair of horses. And if you ever come to El Duende, please try to get some footage for the Fremontian team. Hi, my name is Melanie, and as we learned about the origin of La Llorona and Los Duendes, we highly encourage you to be careful what lies within your walls and run if you hear. Bye! Okay, so that was not scary at all. Let's move on. Halloween is over. Didn't you get the memo? But like the candy corn, the stories linger. Our next story comes from Club. Were you guys there for the Halloween contest during lunch on Monday? If you missed it, Club Scott you covered. Roll it. Hi, I'm Juan, part of Clubs. Let's check out some spooky stuff.
Hi, I'm Jose. Thank you for watching the click segment. See you guys on the next one. It's good to see that there is so much spirit with the Fremont team. Wait, is that a Halloween spirit type of thing? I meant school spirit. And how long is this one? Are you serious? There's more Halloween reporting? Geez, okay, here we go. Have you ever wondered about the history of Halloween? Did you know that it's history class back in ancient, ancient droids? What is a droid? Our seniors went out the sorts, out this story, and this is what they found. Hi, I'm Evelyn. Today we're going to be talking about Halloween a little bit more. Hit it, Marisol. Yeah, hi, my name is Scott Henley. Uh, I'm the agriculture teacher. Uh, well, Halloween was a, um, a, a pagan tradition of the Celts. And then I think with the Roman influence that then um, that brought in the, the Catholic Church. And so uh, kind of like Dia de los Muertos, it, it got imbued with Judeo-Christian tradition. Um, and so then it became, uh, let's see, what was it? All Saints Day. So I, how it transformed from All Saints Day to its current incarnation, I don't know. Um, but that's, yeah, that's, that's a little bit that I know about Halloween. No, I don't think so. Other than maybe just stay home and uh, give out candy to like the two or three trick-or-treaters that may come by. Hi, I'm Marisol. And this is a bonus of the Halloween decorated houses that we saw. Hope you enjoy. Bye. Okay, now it's time for our favorite segment. It's time for sports, sports, sports. Sports, sports, sports. 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 Our Fremontian football team is finally on a winning streak. Can you believe it? They won a few games in a row for more on this. Let's turn to our very own Humana. Last week, our Fremont Pathfinders varsity football team lost to King Drew. But on the bright side, we made it to playoffs. Woo! Today is our first football playoff game against Maywood High School. Best of luck to our football team. Game starts at 7.30. Be there or be square. Now let's check out this interview. Hello, my name is Angel. Hey, you'll see more of this on Friday. Let's check out these playoff interviews. Uh, my name is Tyler. I'm on the Fremont Varsity football team. Uh, I'm the starting right tackle and defensive tackle. My name is George Rodriguez. I play right receiver and safety for Johnson Fremont High School football. Uh, I thought like we were going to win this game. It's probably going to be a tough game because we don't know any of their offensive or defensive schemes, but I thought like we're going to pull through and get the dub. Uh, we play about three. And then if we go through all three undefeated, we make it to state. The point of playoffs is to have the best teams in each of the three divisions compete for a spot in the um, championship. It will mean a lot because I think the last time we made it to um, the championship was around a couple years ago. So I feel like it would be a big deal this time around. It will mean a lot to me because it's my high school year. So of course going to the football championship would be a big accomplishment in high school. Uh, it feels good. We have a lot of um, disadvantages not playing at home, but finally having it for the playoffs can come through. Uh, our first playoff game is against Maywood. We, um, we've been studying film this week. I'm um, trying to figure out how they line up and stuff like that, but we're prepared for it. I mean, we're going, we're going to remain humble because we have two more games after this, so we still got to remain humble and do our thing. I'm pretty confident. I have a feeling that we're going to win. We play 16 teams to prove ourselves, but it will mean a lot because people have been doubting us and saying that we're not that good, so it will mean a lot. It will mean a lot as well because I'm a senior, so it's going to be my last year. It's probably going to feel great in Maywood. Studying their game? Yeah, we do. I will plan on celebrating with my team and by just trying to move forward and going on to the next game. As you can tell, we are pretty confident. Let's take down Maywood on our first home game. Also, we want to wish good luck to the cheer team on their preparation for January's competition. Bye, Jimena. Bye. Well, this is the Fremont team. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Next Friday is Veterans Day, so that means no school. Until next time, I am Antasia singing off. Bye.
Let's go, Fremont. <laughs>